the idea of Avantasia is to do whatever I want to do outside of my main band Ed Guy and um, if possible overdo it and uh, back then it started off as a rock opera kind of thing and I just wanted to create my personal magnum opus um, the biggest album I had ever worked on and this was the motivation of doing it again because I felt I can do better and this time we pushed it a little further in terms of variety as you can hear on the first single Lost in Space How could I know? How could I? I decided to revive my Avantasia project because after having toured around the world with Ed Guy for the past seven years, I felt it was time to break out of the album tour, album tour routine for a little while and uh, record another album with some of my friends and idols of the international rock and metal scene. The basic lineup is featuring Sasha Pad on guitars, Eric Singer of Kiss on drums, and me on bass and vocals. We can be heard on all tracks, and then there's gonna be some guests that can be heard here and there on different tracks. Crawling down the doorway to the badlands, kicking down. It's bombastic, melodic, and it's got power, but it's not kitsch. Um, when you're working with musicians with so different backgrounds, it's always exciting to hear what the result is going to sound like. I mean, um, Eric is a, rock, a classic rock drummer who plays uh, with bands like Kiss or Black Sabbath. Jorn Lande and Michael Kiska are vocal virtuosos. Alice Cooper is a more theatrical actor. Uh, everybody knows the background of Rudolf Schenker from the Scorpions. I think the clash of generations and different backgrounds all of us have within the realm of rock music gives Avantasia a special note. And although it's a rock and metal album, it has some operatic musical touch too. Another star has fallen without sound. Another spark has burned. Some people may be surprised as they wouldn't have expected such a straightforward rock song, but sometimes you have to take your chances to widen your own horizon instead of playing safe, uh, repeating a formula and, and, and boring yourself to death. There's way heavier stuff on the album, but we didn't want to play safe with the first single and video. And uh, I want to be unpredictable, at least within the realm of high quality music. We decided to release two six track EPs called Lost in Space instead of just one single. We had so many ideas and produced so much great material even after the album was completely composed. So we decided to release that exclusive material in advance. And the album The Scarecrow will come out in 2008. People will love the EPs. You don't pay much for it and they contain first class material that you won't find anywhere else.
I don't think what I'm doing is fashionable and I don't think it's trendy, but I don't give a shit because even Mozart never had a video on heavy rotation, right? Um, it has to be good and then it's beyond trend. How could I? How could I know? How could I know? People, people will always love hamburgers and fries. And it's not trendy, it's not artsy, fartsy, fashionable, it just tastes great. And even though it's trivial, it definitely has style. <laughs>